ever thought of controlling a video game with your mind? Umang Mansal, a fourth year student from VIT Bhopal, not only imagined it but achieved it with what could be one of the most impressive projects ever made using DIY Neuroscience Kit Basic. This project focuses on the development of brain-computer interface system by leveraging EEG or electroencephalography. This complete video is focused on how to make this project from scratch. So watch this video till the end. We have created a complete step-by-step -step tutorial for this project on our Instructables profile. Link of which is given in the description box below. Before moving forward, let's get familiar with the words BCI and EEG. Electroencephalography or EEG is a method to record the electrogram of the spontaneous electrical activity of the brain. It is typically non-invasive with the electrode placed along the scalp using the 1020 international system. A brain computer interface or sometimes called brain machine interface is a direct link between the electrical activity of the brain and an external device, most commonly a computer or a robotic limb. Umang Bansil recorded the EEG signals and classified them into two states, attentive and relaxed. And he was able to control a car in a video game just by thinking. When he was attentive, the car was moving forward. And when he was relaxed, the car was slowing down. Let's try to create this project step by step. The kit we'll be using is DIY Neuroscience Kit Basic, which is perfect for students, researchers and hobbyists alike who want to start exploring the field of neuroscience by recording the biopotential signals from their body and making innovative HCI and BCI projects. It's like having your own neuroscience lab in a box. This includes everything we need to complete this project. We'll be recording the EEG signals from prefrontal cortex part of the brain using this sensor. This is BioMP Exipil, a publication braid single channel biopotential amplifier that can record all the biopotential signals from your body. Let's connect BioAmp PHG pill to BioAmp cable V3 using this JST PH connector. For recording EEG from prefrontal cortex part of brain, you have to place the electrodes on your forehead, specifically on FP1 and FP2 positions as per the International 1020 system for recording EEG. But before placing the electrodes, Make sure you are preparing the skin using new prep skin preparation gel. Take a small drop of gel and rub it gently on the skin surface where electrodes would be placed to remove dead skin cells and clean the skin from dirt. After rubbing the skin surface thoroughly, clean it with a wet wipe or an alcohol swab. So you have two options to measure the EEG signal. Let's go with option 1 first, which is measuring EEG signals using gel electrodes. So connect the bioamp cable to the gel electrode. Peel the plastic backing from the electrodes. Place the IN positive and IN negative cables on the forehead and reference on the bony part on the back side of your earlobe. Option 2 would be to measure the EEG signals using brain biome band. We have already created a complete video on how to use and assemble this band. You can find the link in the description box below and somewhere on the top right corner. The development board we'll be using is Maker Uno. It has onboard LEDs, a buzzer and programmable buttons. Now connect the BioM PXG pill to Maker Uno using the jumper cables in such a way that VCC of BioM PXG pill is connected to 5 volt of Maker Uno. Connect ground to ground and out to A0. Please be careful while making the connections between your BioMP pill and development board. If the power pins which is VCC and ground are swabbed, it will damage the sensor. Finally, all the connections are done. You have to download 4 things in the laptop to make this project work. First is this GitHub repository provided by Umang Bansal. Second is Arduino IDE. Third is Visual Studio Code. And fourth is Python. All the download links are provided in the description box below. Let's go to the GitHub repo. Click on code. And download the zip. We have to extract this folder. Click it. In the extracted folder, there is a subfolder called signal. 
click on signal this is an Arduino sketch named signal you have to open it in Arduino IDE here go to tools select the board to Arduino Uno I know we are using Maker Uno here but Maker Uno is an Arduino Uno compatible board so we'll select Arduino Uno here go to the port and select the right COM port for you for us it is COM11 upload the sketch it says done uploading so everything is working fine now we'll have to run the python scripts for that we'll have to open visual studio code click on open folder and select the folder you have downloaded so there are two folders with the same name one is bci main and then there is this subfolder called bci main make sure you are opening the subfolder bci main let's go to terminal add a new terminal we'll write the first command as pip install dash r requirements.txt with this we are installing all the modules we need for this project now go to prediction.py on line 58 change the com port for us it is com 11 then save this file by clicking on control plus s the next command would be python prediction.py but before running this command let's open the game search gammaverse dot com you will see a lot of games here click on search and search for evo f4 this is the game we are looking for click on it the link to this game is already provided in the description box below for you now click on play the game till the time it is loading we can run the python script press enter it says prediction class 1 or prediction class 0 so what's happening is we are recording the EEG signals right now and they are being classified into two states attentive or relaxed let's try to play the game so I'll have to be attentive to move the car forward and be relaxed to apply the brakes let's try to play the game now First, let's go to a empty road. Seems like it is not working for me. So the EEG data recorded to train the model was very limited. Umang only took his data to train the model. The best possible way to resolve this issue is to get your EEG data and train the model accordingly. So let's again go to Visual Studio Code. Press on Ctrl plus C to stop the terminal. Now collecting the data is the most crucial step to complete this project successfully. So make sure you're doing everything right like your laptop should not be connected to the charger you should be five meters away from any ac appliances now we'll have to collect 20 minutes of eeg data when you will be attentive and 20 minutes of eeg data when you're relaxed to collect the data go to collect.py go to the line 6 of the python script for us the com port is 11 but you can change the com port as per your laptop accordingly save this file by clicking on ctrl plus s to collect the data write python collect dot py and press enter it says collecting data it will automatically stop after five minutes and all the data will be stored in a csv file that will be made in the github folder you just downloaded now it's time to collect 20 minutes of eeg data when you're attentive 
for me playing a game like subway surfer works so i'll start the game on my mobile phone plug in the earphones so as to cancel out any distractions from my surroundings and start playing the game we are recording the data in 5 minute intervals as usually people are not able to remain in the same state for extended periods to collect again 5 minutes of data write python collect.py and it has started collecting the data you have to repeat this step for a total of 4 times to collect 20 minutes of eeg data when you are attentive this data will be saved in the same csv file that was created earlier so at the end of 20 minutes there should be around over 6 lakh of data points being recorded which you can check in this file signal.csv now it's time to collect the eeg data when i am in relaxed mode for that you can play any soothing music on youtube and plug in the earphones again write the command python collect.py and it has started collecting the data repeat this step for a total of 4 times to collect 20 minutes of eeg data when you are relaxed after 40 minutes there should be around 12 lakh data points being recorded in the same csv file some things to keep in mind if you are recording the data for person 1 make sure you are doing the demo with the same person it may not work for anyone else as we have already seen during this video to make this experiment generic and work on everyone you need to collect lots and lots of data to make the model more accurate second if you are collecting the data for attentive state make sure you are collecting all the data consecutively and then start recording the data for relaxed state the data point should be separated in the csv folder like we did Now it's time to train the model. Open the Google Colab file, the link to which we have already provided in the description box below. Wait for some time and it will get connected to Python 3 Google Compute Engine backend. Then click on this file icon and upload the CSV file where you have collected all the data. So we'll open it. and start uploading it it may take some time to upload the data meanwhile you can change some things in the google colab file so you'll have to change the sample.csv to signal.csv in block 3 here you'll have to change some values as per the amount of data collected wherein label 0 donates data points for one specific state and label 1 denotes data points for another specific state you can check the signal.csv file for the total number of data points recorded so we'll assign half of them for label 0 and half of them for label 1 meanwhile signal.csv file is already uploaded now go to the top menu on google colab and click on run time then run all after successful execution you'll get two files model.pkl and scalar.pkl in the file section on this left hand side download these files be sure to replace any existing files with the same name in the same folder finally the eeg data is recorded and you have trained the model accordingly now run the python script prediction.py again by writing the command python prediction.py in the terminal open the game in the browser and try to control the car focus to make it move ahead and relax your mind to apply the brake Congratulations on successfully completing this project. That's all for today. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more amazing projects like this. See you in the next one.
Bye-bye.